All right, this is a brief video for John Grimsmo, a custom knife maker out of Ontario, Canada. Uh, he recently started machining uh, carbon fiber for knife scales. And uh, this is a knife. Uh, this is uh, like a fiber reinforced nylon or uh, something to that effect. Uh, the scales would be the black part and uh, he has videos on how to replace scales but basically you take the screws out and you put on his uh, awesome scales and you have a pimped out knife. Uh, this is a uh, Skyline, uh, Kershaw Skyline. Uh, I like this knife because it has a little flipper button. Um, I don't know which knife I would have him make the scales for. But I also have a bench made, which is really nice. It's uh, got a CPM M4 blade and titanium handles. Uh, if there is a knife out there that is similar to the bench made but has this flipper, uh, that would be the knife for me. So this is carbon fiber. It would be used for the knife scales. Uh, the question I had for John Grimsmo was, is it thick enough? Uh, I don't know if you can get this, but right, right over here it's about 80 thousandths. So, uh, a word on this carbon fiber, it's, uh, it was made for runners, uh, which are blades for ice boats. This is a runner. It's 30 inches long. We also have 36 inch. That's a 440 stainless uh, insert blade, which is three inches tall. And you can see in the back how tall it is. Okay. Uh, basically, we took two slabs of carbon fiber and two pieces of Baltic birch and put it all in a mold, squish it together. And that's how it came. Did a little bit of sanding. This is a sticker. You can only have nine runners. Uh, on the DN. Uh, DN ice boats are for sailing on ice. Uh, there's three runners in a tricycle configuration. And uh, they get up to speeds of 60 miles an hour. There's a lot of videos out there on DN, so you can look at it somewhere else. But um, that's what it's for. Uh, this steel came from a guy named Ron Sherry in uh, uh, Clinton Township, Michigan. Um, he actually makes runners that are a lot better than this. This is a simple primitive runner where you have a mold and you just squish it down. And uh, it's like putting a cake in the oven. You just wait until the uh, West System epoxy kicks and then it's hard. He does... Uh, he actually has a hydraulic press and he uses a, a full wrap around, doesn't just use cookies on the sides, he has a wrap that goes around inside and out and you don't see any wood at all, the whole thing is encased. There's also wings going down the side for stiffness so it doesn't uh, flex at all or bow like a... Like A string doesn't vibrate at all and uh, we used uh, the West system uh, 105 and 206 uh, epoxy and then we put a couple coats of that 207 and 105 on top that's a UV resistant uh, clear uh, me and Jan Gajan are good guys they're uh, out of Bay City Michigan they make some of the best epoxies in the world. Uh, the the uh, 105 series is uh, can be hardened at about a 70 degree temperature. They also make uh, Gujan Brothers Incorporated makes a uh, Pro Set, which is a heat curable. You have to uh, get it up to at least 125 for it to kick. Uh, we're going to be using that in the future. We'll make videos of that. 
This is a 610 adhesive. This is really good stuff. Uh, he actually gave it to us free at, a, at the Worlds down in Illinois. Uh, it was kind of a door prize. It's a nice guy. There's a mixing tip. And this is actually two part epoxy inside there. And you squeeze it with a cock gun and it comes out already mixed, ready to go. So that is good for gluing up boats. If you're wondering what kind of boat I'm talking about, I'm going to take a little trip over here. gonna see in the cow barn a DN ice boat. This is my dad's brand new DN ice boat. It's not fully finished. This is the hull. This is the part you sit in. There's carbon fiber push rods there. This was painted by Spectrum Painting. Hogan, Wisconsin. This is the cockpit. molded headrest for minimal wind resistance. Uh, this is a piece of polycarbonate inside there because we use spikes when we're starting like golf shoes and uh, you, when you put your feet in there you don't want to scratch it. There's the hole. Stiffeners, mandatory. This is aluminum uh, channel so your spikes don't go through the front of the bulkhead here. This boat is solid. These are Harkin ratchet blocks. TIG welded stainless. I probably should have some more light on this. I apologize. Those are excellent TIG welds. That's where the mast goes on that mast step. Side stays attached here. Spring for the front runner. That's going to be a fast boat when it's done. That is a DN. We'll show them fully assembled and uh, do some load testing on them later in a future video. And uh, hopefully, if we get a GoPro, we can do some uh, action racing shots. That's all for now.